Hey guys, it's Eve, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Valentine's related video for you and basically I'm gonna go through some nice sort of present ideas that you can get your partner or friend, you know, if you're single, you can still celebrate Valentine's Day, you might wanna get something for your best friend or something like that. And basically in this video, I'm gonna give you some ideas of what you can get them. I'm gonna sort of focus sort of less on like of main big presents, like, you know, getting them jewelry or anything. I'm not gonna sort of focus on that. I'm gonna focus more on like nice little novelty sort of keepsake things that you can get them, like the more typical Valentine's Day things. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on. So all of these things, well, pretty much all of them, are things that you can get within a budget. So, you know, they'll be, you know, not too expensive to buy and also I'm fil so I'm filming this on Saturday and at the minute there's a whole week until Valentine's Day and I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow so basically all of these things should be able to get to you in time for Valentine's Day and even if you're watching this the night before Valentine's Day or the day before or something like that there are some ideas of presents in here that you can get the day before Valentine's Day and that you can get and it will be ready for the actual day but yeah um, I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you're excited to see the ideas and also I'd be so grateful if you subscribed as well and yeah I'm just gonna get started the first present idea that I think you could get your partner for Valentine's Day the traditional thing flowers like I think getting your partner some roses or just some of their favorite flowers can be such a nice present it's that's something you can actually get on the morning of valentine's day if you want or the day before like even that by itself looks like you've put in a lot of effort and it's so thoughtful and i just think it's a really nice idea but if you want to go a step further than that amazon and I, i'm pretty sure like not on the high street do it as well but i'm not sure if they'd arrive in time but amazon do some like amazing like glass and ceramic roses and flowers they're obviously not real but they're gonna last forever so they look so beautiful and they look really like luxurious and expensive as well. And they, but they're not actually that, there's, are, there's some on there that aren't that expensive. And so you can get them on Amazon and they can arrive really quickly. And then it's like you're getting, you know, your partner a flower, but they can keep it forever. So they'll always have that reminder of you. And even also get, um, again on Amazon, I've seen them, you can get like bears that are made of roses. They have like little rosebuds all over them and they're little bears and they have like a little bow around them and come in a box and that's another really cute thing if you want um, I just I just think it's such a cute idea um, and that leads me on to my next idea which is to get them some sort of like teddy bear or like just like plush toy you should just get like the standard teddy bear or if you get if you have like a little inside joke or there's like some characters that you know they like like and Amazon do loads that aren't very ex aren't too expensive I just think it's really, really cute and it's something that they just always have to remind them of you. You could even like spray your perfume or aftershave on it so that it smells like you as well. The best thing as well with them is that you can literally get them in all shapes and sizes. Like you can get those ginormous teddy bears that are literally like, you could like, they're like beds, <laughs> like they're massive, which I think they're really cool. But you could get one like that or you could get like a tiny one. Like I've seen one as well, like on Amazon, they have like little ones that have like little hearts on it that say I love you or be mine or something and I think they're really cute. Um, another place actually, this came up on my Instagram, it was like advertised for some reason, but you can get like Build-A-Bear actually have 25% off at the minute and they, ha they have a whole Valentine's range and the stuff they have are so cute, like you can get your standard like teddy bears in different colours, you can get like characters, you can get animals and then you can like dress them up and give them little accessories and you can even add a smell to them so you can make it like Lotso and give it a smell of raspberries or strawberries that would be amazing. Also like record your voice so you can like press it and then it will say something that you've recorded. Um, or there's some like pre-recorded things where it's just like a bear saying I love you and stuff. And yeah, and I said you can dress it up and I really hope as well, because basically I used to always get them, it used to be called Bear Factory Bear when I was younger. For those who are old enough to remember that, it used to be called Bear Factory Bear. So I have to keep like reminding myself not to call it that. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, they used to do like birth certificates and I'm pretty sure I still have them somewhere. And I'm also pretty sure that I have like their passports as well, which might seem a bit sad, but I just can't get rid of them. Like they're too special to me. Um, but I'm pretty sure they still do um, birth certificates for them. And it's a, you, it can be like a thoughtful present, but it can also be quite funny because you could, you know, name it something. If you've got a little inside joke, you can name it something funny. You can, you know, I just quite like it. You can use the birth certificate to maybe have a bit of a laugh with it or not. You could be serious, like it's up to you. But I just think it's a really nice present that could have a bit of fun to it as well. Um, oh, and I really hope they still do those like houses that they'd come in. Oh, I used to love them. 
and like if you see people walking around town like when you're shopping and they have that bear patch you're like <gasps> it makes you instantly want to go and get one because it's just so cute how they have their own little house and like the little window where they're oh memories <laughs> you know as well i'm pretty sure they're decent prices like i think their average price for a bear is about 15 pounds they did have one on there that was like this pink bear but and it came with a swarovski i can't say that word swarovski necklace and that was like 120 quid or something so i'm not necessarily i'm not necessarily suggesting getting that unless that's something you want to do but they have like your standard bears and that for like 15 quid and as i said there is 25 percent off at the minute as well so, and it said if you order it by wednesday it will come in time for valentine's day so i definitely recommend having a little look on there if you wanted to get your partner a bear like i just think it's so so cute another really nice idea so this is a very specific one so basically the great thing to get your partner for for christmas <laughs> for valentine's day is um i like chocolates and food but i have seen this was again advertised to me on my instagram crispy cream are doing a like valentine's day dozen of donuts and they look incredible have like hearts that have like it's like um love hearts with a little like sayings on them that say like be mine all that um and but they're like heart donuts with them on top and you can get like a dozen so it's like six heart donuts and six glazed and it just looks so sweet you do have to do like get on it now though because i have seen on that advert it said that there were only because they, they deliver you they deliver on a specified date but they only had up until the 10th available but i was having a little look before i filmed this so that i could get all the info for you and then um, they they have got another set of donuts that they're doing that can be delivered on um by valentine's day so if you get on that now i reckon you could still get it and even if you're too late for that you can make your own dozen so you can make your own dozen of donuts and in that you can put in those heart ones so you can pick as many of those heart ones as you want. So you could literally have 12 of those like specific heart Valentine's Day donuts if you wanted but you can mix it up if not and just choose what ones you know they're going to love. You can still get them delivered on act like on Valentine's Day or like the day before but there's a £7 delivery charge. So there's the one where it's sort of their pre-made sort of sets and like their collection of them and their delivery is three pounds but there's not as many slots available but there are still some um or there's the make your own and you just have to pay more you have to pay seven pounds and it will get delivered in time for valentine's day but honestly i think that is such a lovely idea getting them like a dozen valentine's day donuts it's just a bit of fun i think like i think it's just yeah really a really fun idea um, I think the, the donuts themselves are six, uh, not 16, 15 pounds, and then obviously there's delivery depending on which one you're going to get. And I don't think that's an awful price. The delivery for the um, for the one type is expensive, but I think the price for the actual donuts isn't that bad for 12 donuts. I think that's pretty decent. Another great idea. This is a this is a great one. If there's anyone here watching the night before Valentine's Day and you're panicking, this one has you covered. <laughs> Making them a hamper of chocolate or food. Basically, if you are doing this a couple of days before, then you can go on Amazon and order them like a nice basket, like a nice hamper basket. If you're doing it the day before, grab a shoe box, wrap it up if you've got any wrapping paper, if not, just grab a shoe box. <laughs> and um, basically, run to the supermarket and get a load of their favourite chocolates. I spoke about this in my last minute Christmas present ideas, but same applies here. Run to the supermarket, grab them a load of chocolates, their favourite chocolates, sweets, if they like hot chocolate, if they like coffee, just grab all their favourite foods and snacks and shove it in a really nice basket or box and you've got yourself a nice hamper. And then if you get some of that like clear paper and then you can put everything inside the basket, put the paper around it and like tie it at the top with ribbon so it looks like really professionally done and then that can look like you've put so much time and effort into it and it can actually take you like half an hour or something like i think it's such a good idea also if you're getting them like a bear you could like put the bear in the middle and then like put the chocolates around it like on the same sort of thread as well if her issue could do like a pamper hamper that rhymes <laughs> a pamper hamper so you could get them again you could go to the supermarket or order on amazon and get them a load of like face masks you can get some bath bombs some shower gel like just get a load of like pamper stuff again you could put some like chocolates in there as well this, I think that's a great one actually as well if you're buying for like your friends if you're single and you and your friends are doing valent like a galentine's day i think that's a really cute thing if you get get each other like a nice ham like a pamper thing so that's something then you could do together on valentine's day you could have um, you could have a nice like you know pamper session together and put a film on or something you could even as well get them like a voucher for a film or something and put that in it so it's like their ultimate sort of pamper night set really i think that's a really really lovely idea especially in lockdown as well i think that's perfect well, I think I'm in a slightly different position now, but oh well. Oh, I just had another amazing idea and it's just gone. I say amazing because I was on that good, but I just had a really good idea and it's just... 
oh, that's it. I think, so this is more of like an activity you could do and it won't cost you any, well, it depends. So basically what I was thinking is whatever you decide to get them, if it's something from this video or something else, whatever you decide to get them, what you could do is do a little treasure hunt for them so they have to find the present. So you can leave them little notes around the house, leave them a clue that will lead them to another clue. I'm sure you all know how a treasure hunt works. <laughs> and then also at the end, it can have a present. I think that could be such a lovely idea, especially as I said, in lockdown. It's a nice thing, like a nice little activity that you can do, that you can make to help make the day fun. Just make a nice little treasure hunt for them. If you've not got them like a big present, you've just got them some chocolate. It just adds some excitement to it and it's just a bit of fun and easy to do. You can just get some paper, if you just draw some little hearts around it to make it a bit more fancy. Or you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. And just write the little clues and oh, I think that would be such, such a cute idea. And the last, the like last clue would lead to the present or whatever it is you want to give them. Even if it's just at the end they get a kiss, <laughs> you know, something like that. I think that would just be like really cute. And then my final idea is again something that you can literally just whip up in the morning or the night before is coupons. <laughs> I think getting them, um, making some coupons that you can customise, you can write whatever you want on it, you can, um, you know, it could be for a free hug, a free cuddle, a free kiss, a massage that you'll cook dinner that night, that you'll do the, the washing, that you'll do the, 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 you'll take the bins out, that you'll, you know, they get to pick the film that night. They're just some nice ideas and you could make them little coupons and just put little like, you could even, even if you're not, if you're creative, you can make them really like nice and pretty, but if you're not, you can even just like put little funny drawings on them, like little hearts or just something funny that's like related to that coupon. Just literally get a piece of paper, cut out rectangles or squares, whatever you want, and just write it on there, give it to them then they can cash them in whenever they want. I think that's a really cute idea. Oh, I'm just not the camera. I think that's a really cute idea. Doesn't cost anything, doesn't take anything. And it also is a way you can keep the keep the present ongoing for a little bit. So you can have some of that fun on the other days, not just Valentine's Day. Something else that I think is a great idea, just sort of led me on, a bit of a sidetrack, but is you get a jar. So again, you can either get a jar that you've got in your kitchen, just wash it out properly, or you can go on Amazon and get some great ones. And you basically make make a like day ideas pot and you write down loads of little day ideas so even like at the minute you could like lockdown friendly ones like movie night um dress up and have a meal in the living room um go for a nice walk go for a drive watch the sunset watch the sunrise have a pizza night um, have a games night anything like that you can just write a load of day ideas fold them all up put little hearts on them shove them in the in the jar and that's their present and then that's again something that can keep on going. Like we don't know how long this lockdown's gonna be and it's something that might help sort of bring a bit of like, it's something that'll just last. They'll give it to them on Valentine's Day and it'll just sort of keep going. It'll be a present that just sort of keeps, keeps giving almost because then you can have however long it takes to use up all the dates. Whenever you're feeling a bit down or like you need a bit of a thing, you can both just like, oh, let's, let's do a date from the jar, go in, pick it up and then you can do whatever that one says. I'm actually gonna show you because I made one of these for my boyfriend. It's like for both of us, I'll show you it now. This jar is so nice, it's from Amazon and it's got um, like a little chalkboard on the front and it comes with chalk so that you can like write on it, so you can write on it date ideas. This one says YouTube because basically they're ideas that, of videos that I want to film with um, with Joe basically. So yeah, I'm going to, we still haven't done one yet. I keep saying we'll film one and then I just never follow through. <laughs> like now I've actually started filming and uploading properly, I think we will probably film one soon. But yeah, so for like this one I did a jar with like a thing and I just put like a load of like folded up bits of paper with ideas of videos that we can film but obviously you could do that but with date ideas and then I also had this one which was so this is when because when we were um spending lockdown together I did this so that if we you know we're like oh what should we do we'd like pick it up and I put little hearts on them and then it had different things in it's like I think Joe's turn to cook <laughs> do 10 minutes of work it was things as well to help try and make us we didn't actually use it in the end but it was a nice idea you know and we might still use it in the future nice it's a nice little idea or something especially with it being locked down and everyone's spending a lot of time at home if you're feeling a bit like oh, I don't know what to do feeling a bit bored a bit unmotivated and there's a mix of things like I said there's things like have a quick tidy up um, do an hour of work and this box again was from Amazon it's so cute it's just like a little wooden box and it has a little key and it actually locks and because it's just like a plain sort of wood thing you could even if you're creative you could even like paint on it and all you have to buy is like the box the tin or whatever that's just an extra little present idea that I think would be really cute for Valentine's Day 
so yeah they are all of my valentine's day present ideas i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found some of them useful and um, let me know if you're going to use any of these like if there's any that you hadn't thought of or that you're now going to go and do for your partner or your friend please let me know i'd love to see if i have actually sort of helped anyone um, and yeah, I, it was just a bit of sort of fun, just some nice little ideas. I hope you found it useful. And yeah, just I hope everyone has a lovely Valentine's Day, whether you're spending it, if you're single and you're spending it on your own or with friends, or if you are spending it with your partner, I hope you have a really lovely Valentine's Day. Just take the day to either pamper yourself or pamper your partner <laughs> and just sort of enjoy the day together. Um, and you know, just enjoy the day together. You know, it's been a crazy, crazy year, but this is a day that you can sort of enjoy together and, you know, do some nice things. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. I'd be really grateful. And yeah, I'll see you again very soon with another video. Bye.